Hello guys, welcome back to my class and for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Manuela Sadovnik, but you can call me Miss Sadovnik or Teacher Manu or Miss Manuela, however you prefer. I am one of your fine arts teachers here at Vico and together we will be learning about art history while we do fun artistic activities together. That's right guys, so before I go any further, please don't forget to mention your friends and family who you will meet on the weekend to join us here in the Vico app, you know, let them know about the amazing after school programs that we have here where you can learn lots of fun things like not only fine arts, of course, but also ballet, guitar, piano, singing, uh, yoga, Chinese, um, what else, uh, storytelling, STEM, and much more so don't miss out on it and also don't forget that we have a social feature in the app where you can customize your own profile post pictures comment on other people's pictures and overall engage with other classmates and the teachers as well okay guys so don't forget to mention them all of that so we can grow as a community and have a lot of fun here at Vico. guys for today we will be going once again through the post impressionism movement but, but we will learn about the artist that Vincent van Gogh had vivid discussions with about art. But let's leave that for some art gossip, shall we? More importantly, uh, we will learn about this artist's primitivism and synthetic symbolism. We will learn about, let me show you, Paul Gauguin. Gauguin. It's Gauguin, right? Paul Gauguin. I love the hat. I wonder what it is made out of. And actually I was trying to find uh, about like photos of him, but it was, it was a little bit hard. It was, it was challenging to find photos of him, but here you have him with a nice hat, very fashion wise. And for today's activity, we'll be doing an interesting primitive style art inspired in Gauguin's artwork of this type, okay? Once again, let's remember the important premises of post-impressionism. I know it hasn't been too long, but it's always best for us to, you know, you know, review those premises, okay? So, symbolism was more important in their paintings than representing landscape, you know, uh, like naturalistically or realistically. And this was explored through the usage of line, color palette, and the way they would make the brushstrokes. So it wouldn't have this natural type of um, appearance, but rather even give it a, another light, you know, because of the color palette that they would pick. You can always refer to Van Gogh, for example. In the case of Paul Gauguin, now that we're talking about him, or Eugene Henry Paul Gauguin, uh, that was his name. He was a French artist born in 1848. Uh, that was a very important character of the movement, mainly because of his symbolic and synthetic way of making his art pieces. He would often use unnatural coloring of landscapes and synthetic symbolism referred mostly to the flat style in his imagery, you know, landscape and whatnot. So synthetic means uh, you could say that it is um, in a simple way that he would see the landscape. So we're not going to be worrying too much about highlights or shadows or things that would add uh, to the shape, volume and things like that, you know, that would make it uh, make us refer to it in a realistic way, but much more in a flat, you could say synthetic would be like a flat way. Um, and uh, something that I want us to you know, like to focus on is that uh, it was once that he fled to Tahiti or Tahiti, it's Tahiti, I'm sorry. Uh, in 1891, his artwork had an important shift into a spiritual approach of the landscapes he found there and therefore he distanced himself from the Western conventions he once learned. So today I actually want us to focus not on the work that he usually did, uh, when he was in Europe, but the ones that he did when he was in Tahiti. And it basically transformed Gauguin's art because it became, you see these very tropical landscapes, 
that I want us to explore today. For today's activity, we will be painting our own primitive synthetic landscape. So the materials that you will need are regular paper, mixed media sketchbook paper, colored pencils, crayons, markers, soft pastels, oil pastels, chalks, acrylic paints or tempera paint, whatever you want to use, you can do so. A reusable piece of cloth and container to mix the paint if you're using any type of paint that I mentioned. Cup of water uh, to clean the brushes, of course, if you're using uh, acrylics or tempera or whatever type of uh, paint medium that you're going to be using today. And here you have another reference, which is the Three Huts from 1891. Remember that he escaped Europe to go to Tahiti in uh, 1891. And that is for the most part where you would see his first production uh, from his first exploration of Tahiti. As you can see in the image, there's even a guy there. I don't know if we're going to be able to paint him at last. I want us to focus on the landscape first and then we will move on uh, with the details such as, um, you know, the character that appears there. I actually put some tape here on the sides. You can barely see it. You know, you can see it with the reflection that I play some uh, transparent tape um, so I could, you know, like make a somewhat of a frame. And then it comes all the way down here. And you see that we have like all this part. There's I actually do want to place like this, uh, the, the trees that I see because there are like some big trees in here that do occupy a lot of space, you know. Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to be using too much. But yeah, it's just for us to have a reference. Okay. So I think we can actually start painting with that. Just with this. Just with this basic forms that I just did here. Some um, sh little shadows that he added here and there. They were like, you know, like not very strong. So I'm going to add a little bit of thalo green here, in fact. And it's just, you know, like, it just added a, a little bit here. I'm just going to make, like, things like that. You know, quite simple. Not too much in there. Yeah, that looks really, very nice. Um, what else can we do? We can actually, let me see. There's this tree here at the top that has this parts, this segments like this. But it has that lighter green that we initially worked with. So what I can do here is just add this green like that and then just go over the lighter green and add that lighter green on the top. But I think that one needs uh, even a bit more yellow. We can add a bit more yellow in there. Mix the colors as you go. So something that you see that I do, for instance, it's like maybe add a little bit of a yellow ochre and then just put it here at the top. You know, mix them a little bit there. It even has a lot of yellow ochre at this very part, you know? It starts shifting into a yellow ochre. Oh yeah, this part definitely turns into a yellow ochre, so I'm gonna be adding more of the yellow tone over here. You know, like adding those tones there. Yes, I'm going to make a little bit of that transition happening there. And then, last but not least, there's a lot of white on this very last part. You see it? There's like white here. And then... It's just the clay tone, this yeah, like 
reddish clay tone at the bottom. Okay, let's go to this upper part now, this other mountain that we have here that actually has a lot of like blue hues happening. All right, we're there with the sky now. Okay, that looks very, very nice. Um, now we can make those trees that you see there. Uh, the final like details that we can add into our piece. In fact, I want to make the lines with this one and I'm gonna make some of the details of the palm trees that I see with the burnt sienna and with the because as you can see they're like they go all the way to the top I'm just going to be using some white to make those palm trees appear you know and oh actually there's like this little section here of you know like a, of this other trees that we actually didn't do the little stem here so I had to do it in fact it even has like this okay but now we're all about adding details and whatnot so let's keep it going and let's do those little palm trees that we see there so it's just like a bunch of lines that you can do with different tones so you can add you know you can add the orange you can add yellow i'm going to be adding different types of colors since they have like a different type of color so we don't have to really follow along exactly as he did it you can just add different types it even gonna it's going to make it even more you know like tropical like very beautiful i'm going to be adding this other green here you see that yeah and then there's like another one just loosely goes there there's even like a dog you can even try drawing that dog well painting that dog where it's just like the face it's just like oh bit of water drop there I'm gonna make it right here there's like the dog here and the body which is that there's a lot of water on my brush the tail little body and and the legs he didn't really worry about you know, making it like look like an animal. You can see it right there. It's, it looks small, but yeah, it more so looks like that. And so, yeah, guys, I believe this is the... Actually, I think I did the the shadow or the... For this part, like, or, like on the wrong position. But I mean, sometimes that can happen, right? Some things... Sometimes we can miss some sections here and there. That can tend to happen so yeah guys i think that is all for today uh this is our landscape so i hope you really enjoyed today's activity here you have the result thank you so much for joining me in today's class don't forget to mention your friends and family to download the vico app so they can have a lot of fun here with us in the after school programs and also engage with us with the social features that we have here at the Vico app. Don't forget that I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My first session starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then my second session starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys? Once again, thank you so much for joining me on today's lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Don't forget to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and App Store. Click below.